switchblade. Aren't those illegal? In most states, yeah, but actually, it's a cone. It's the best $3 I've ever spent. It's amazing. Ow! Hello, Wanderers. Welcome to our Things to Do in Gettysburg video. We had a really great time in the town of Gettysburg. You really can't go anywhere without being reminded of the battle that took place there. Our first stop of the day was for food at a little place called the Lincoln Diner. There's mostly street parking in the town, but some places have parking around back. So we parked behind the Lincoln Diner. And we had a great late breakfast. Everybody loved the food. The diner atmosphere was tremendous, and it's very affordable and a lot of uh, fun for a family to eat there. first stop of the day was Jenny Wade Museum and Gift Shop. There's a really big parking lot right next door, so you don't have to worry about that. Ticket prices are $9 for adults. Children are $6.75, ages 6 to 12, and 5 and under are free. If you visit Gettysburg at all and learn anything about the battle, you'll definitely hear about Jenny Wade. Her part in the battle and her connection to some of the soldiers is both unbelievably coincidental and horribly sad. After this video, Google her and read about what happened to her during the battle. So one neat thing is that in Gettysburg, the parking meters are automated and you use a little app that you'll need to download, but it was extremely simple to use uh, and made it very easy to park there in Gettysburg. Now our stop after lunch was for the Museum of History, which is a little interesting uh, when you Google Gettysburg, this comes up, the Gettysburg Museum of History, and it's a free museum that is just packed to the gills with a ridiculous amount of historical artifacts. There are items from literally every era of history that we could see being there. There's an entire room all about JFK and so it's got clothes, it's got artifacts from his time as president, it's got artifacts and excuse me, rep replicas of the car uh, from the, his assassination and, and just we couldn't even see all the things that were in there and process everything about JFK just in this one small room in this guy's museum. It's quite amazing everything that he's been able to put in there. Now my favorite part of the museum and what really motivated me for us to go there when we began exploring and looking for things to do was this room which was basically an entire room dedicated to the Band of Brothers. And I, I'm a, I love World War II history, especially the European theater and especially the Band of Brothers Easy Company from the 101st Airborne. And so this room was nothing but artifacts and memorabilia from the Band of Brothers and so it was so cool to, to look at all these things from World War II and the centerpiece of it is that they have an amazing amount of, of artifacts from Major Richard Winters who if you've ever watched Band of Brothers is the kind of the central character to that and 
one of my heroes really so they've got uniforms they've got items that his family has given and so if you have any interest in world war ii but especially the 101st airborne this this is a must stop if you are in gettysburg as you can see here you know these are uniforms uh, from the winters family with pictures of him and many of his awards and so words can't express uh, how awesome it was for me to be there and, and, and to see these things and certainly if we're ever back in the area I, I want to go back and just really take a lot of time and just just explore this room uh, over and over with all the things that are there. There is a museum at Seminary Ridge that has a lot of information about what happened there during the battle. There is the museum admission price and then a different price for the cupola and museum together. Those prices will be listed here now. It looks a little pricey for a large family to do the cupola tour, but maybe it's worth it. We didn't do it, but it says that one of the Union generals used that attic and the cupola to survey before and during the battle. So after spending the morning going around Gettysburg itself and visiting some of the different things to do there, it was time to visit the reason that most people come to Gettysburg, and that's to visit the battlefield for Gettysburg and to see all that's there. So I invite you to click the link that's on the screen to see our video about our time driving around the battlefield and all the different things you can learn uh, at the Visitor Center and at the museum. 